Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, we're here today to continue the development on the snail compilation, or however we want to call the game. Can you actually hear me? Or is it difficult to understand? Uh, who cares? So let's let's just see if my internet is good enough because my internet is kind of weird. What's happening? Oh yeah, this looks good. That looks good. Very nice. Okay. Is the sound okay? Everything okay? Can you hear me? Let's switch to the other camera then. Very nice. Yes. A crazy game demands a crazy developer. That's only logical. Makes complete sense. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, Marlon. Hi. Schlingelkorn. Hey, Danny Kopik. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Ah. So much gear. Oh, my God. I feel really equipped for the stream today. Hey Coldstone! Hey everybody! Thanks for joining in! Okay, this is... <laughs> this is getting kind of <laughs> annoying. Oh. One second. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Dear Juju Games, what? Game Maker is still fine. I like Game Maker. <clears throat> so, first of all, let's have a look at the current state of the game. Let's see if everything still works. I haven't continued coding this since last time. Um, I've thought about the name a bit. You have given a couple of suggestions for the name. And in case you forgot, we're trying to make this game absolutely go viral. This game needs to be super duper viral that's the only thing that matters and the way we do this is by making it just super unfair and hard and raging <laughs> uh, let's see if i can make it to the end i have already a couple of really cool ideas what i want to implement today and we'll see how far we get we'll be live for about two hours last time youtube kind of cut the recording of the live stream short and was only two hours long after that that was really annoying so we're just gonna do two hours this time and then it should be fine or at least that's the theory yes um will i be able to beat this i think i al always die right behind the webcam right little snail I died behind the webcam again. <laughs> oh, again. Ah, this time I made it past the webcam. Okay, it's really mean and unfair. First thing I want to add is uh, sound whenever you die. It's a placeholder sound, but I thought a little bit of feedback would be nice whenever you die. So let's just add a sound here. Sound. Yeah, audio. Is it audio? Audio. Play. Sound, sound id is so fail. Priority one loops false. Easy. We're still live. That's fine. My internet scared me a little bit earlier. Oh what? Oh oh, that doesn't sound good. This sound should only be played once. Now we need to put something like this here. Let's just use this question here. Now it should only be played once. This should work. Uh, 
Okay, now we have just a single drum hit whenever we hit a spike. That's much better. <laughs> just wanted to have a bit of feedback. A bit of additional feedback whenever you die. Now I want to make a couple of changes that you suggested, for example giving the spikes different colors, maybe improving the sprite of the AI a bit. And then comes the fun part, then I will make more levels and add more really really hard and annoying stuff that nobody can deal with. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Okay, I can't beat this level, this is already way too hard. But uh, we need to make it harder, obviously. This is still way too easy. Is the chat still working? Can you type something? I'm not used to that little text being in the chat last time it, ugh, was way too much. But honestly, don't write anything into the chat. That's fine. Then I can focus on developing here and I don't need to focus on you. Ugh, don't want to do that anyway. F, F, F. It's very nice, very nice. Still, still works. So first of all, let's change the sprites. Mm -hmm. So, will it look better if we just pick this color here and fill everything with that color? Will that actually look better? Then maybe we can make the yellow border a little thicker as well. And another orange, no. Orange border. So which one looks better? Probably the new one. What do you think? New, old, I think new, so can we copy this somehow? Oh! Ah! Oh! Uh, what's happening? No! Copy? Why does this happen when I press control C? Uh, do I need to add it like this? Okay, fine. Dear UU Games, please, please let me copy paste images in the image editor. That would be great. Thank you. Now I just have it as a brush. So far I managed to place it at the same position every time. This time I didn't. See this already a little more annoying than it should be again. Than you, yes. I agree, now we need to do the same with the happy AI. Mm -hmm. This is very entertaining to watch. I know, I know, I know. It's also very entertaining to do. I'm having so much fun right now. It's unbelievable. Okay, now I'm gonna fill half of that with some sort of purple color. So it, oops, uh, keeps blinking when it's happy. So it grabs a little more attention. Okay. And then the spikes. Somebody wrote the spikes have a little random shapes. And yeah, that's probably true. Maybe we can fix it. Let's have a short look. And I kind of want to... Hi, Skeletman. Thanks for joining. We're making the snail compilation. Let's give the spikes the same color as the AI. Piggity pig. Hmm. 
That's not the color I grabbed. What the hell? Okay, seems like I can't bring that AI color over here. Then, whatever, let's go with that neon aqua color thingy. Yeah, let's just remove everything. Still needs to look somewhat dangerous and attention grabbing. At the moment everything has a yellow outline. Let's try doing a yellow outline. And now, let's fill this with aqua. Honestly, I kind of like the idea of the spikes having a smiley, so they kind of taunt you. Is this too random again? I I mean, it should be a little random and memorable. Let's just see how this looks. Probably terrible. Yeah, I, I mean, I could look look up the the RGB values and copy them over, but yeah, doesn't need to be that accurate. Also, maybe the color of the AI is currently. Not that good yet, but um, the square shape screen looks a lot better than the weird screen I drew before that. So this is already um, an, um, an improvement. In terms of the spikes, I'm not really happy with the spikes. They look kind of weird. Okay, so let's give the AI a little more saturated background color. Mm. Ugly smiley. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Now. No, no. Oh no, did I give them different colors? No, they're both ugly, ugly aqua colors. How about this? I feel like we need a bit more color in these spikes. The goal of the game is get to the end, but it's super duper hard. It's almost impossible. 
maybe the spikes shouldn't have faces because I mean you play versus the AI and the AI already has a face. I think I should make it green. Hmm. I mean, we can try that, and then whatever color the AI, I, I, blah, blah, blah. Very good language, Jonas. Whatever color the AI has, that's the same color the spikes are gonna get. Let's try green. Oh, not bad. Let's actually go for the screen. Was it this green? No. Was it this green? No. Mm, this green. If you want to listen to music, turn on your own music. I don't have music. Except for... <laughs> so they shouldn't probably... Should probably not have faces. What do you think? How does that look? What's your opinion? Come on, I can make it. No! <laughs> so close. Yeah, the AI should be sad when you finish a level. But... Problem is... You're not in the room then anymore. So you can't see it. But maybe I have an idea how we can do this without slowing the game down too much. Because there needs to be some sort of screen between levels anyway, because I want to tell the player what the AI learns in the next level, so you can kind of prepare mentally for that. Come on. <coughs> yes! Yes, I did it. <laughs> I went to the next level. I'm so skilled. But this level is almost impossible. And I plan to make it even more impossible. Because this is not impossible enough. Clearly. Damn. <laughs> Do you think the green works better? Hi Matzes Run. Glad you're here as well. Very nice, very nice. It's better, but maybe we should take a brighter green so you can see the spikes even better. They're not really all that visible at the moment. Or what if we make them flash, copy, paste, and then here in the other frame they I 
are brighter. How does this look? We'll see. I mean, yeah, you can see them a bit better now. When the animation is too quick. Mm, let's say image speed equals zero point three three. Wonderful! Thank you. This is the live stream you've been waiting for. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you. Tehabella. Yeah, actually I'm quite happy with the colors. I'm I mean the spike color is fine now. Maybe we can improve the AI color a bit. What do you think? Sometimes it's really unfair, but that's exactly the point of the game. It's supposed to be unfair. <laughs> oh no. When will I release the first version of the game? Uh, probably when it's done, but that will not take all that long. It's just a little side project, so I hope I'll be able to release it in maybe in three weeks. That sounds about realistic, three to four weeks. Maybe I can release it earlier, but not sure, not sure. Okay, let's uh, fix the color of the AI because I'm not 100% happy with that yet. Maybe we should add some flickering to that as well. Maybe, maybe. Let's just add a couple of random colors. Oh, this is probably too much. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. <laughs> uh, it looks nice, Danny Copic. What do you mean? It looks. It looked nice the way it was, or it looks nice the way it is now. Okay, this flickering is uh, really annoying. We cannot do that. At least not to that extent. Let's try to maybe. Hmm. Make some little changes to the color. Maybe, maybe, maybe some slight flickering like this is better. Oh, did you like the extreme flickering? I think this slight flickering actually looks looks a lot better. This is nice. <laughs> and then f maybe some more extreme flickering when it's happy. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, I like it. Wow, 
What do you think? I think it's fine. So one thing I would like to do that probably makes it a little easier is that these spikes don't overlap anymore and also I don't want them to fly in the air sometimes when they're really close to the edge they're they're almost in the air that's nothing we want to see right so uh, but should we get rid of that now That's nice, that's nice, thanks for feedback. I think it's, it makes it easier to understand, yes. And the AI doesn't look like uh, that ir irrelevant anymore. It looks more important. I hope it's easier to understand. I actually I wonder if anybody's able to beat this level other than me because so far I'm the only one who beat it okay fair enough so not that many people played it so far but my dad tried it and my girlfriend tried it they both didn't manage to beat it Ah. I see, I see. I guess you can write German if you want, but I'll keep talking English. And if you if you write English as well, that's obviously preferable because in case any English speakers join the stream, they will feel more welcome. At the moment, that's probably not the case though, so whatever. Okay, I beat it again, that's awesome. So now we need to make the seven, the second level a little harder. Um, what I imagine is spawning spikes on the walls. So the next thing the AI learns is spawning spikes on the walls and spawning spikes on the ceiling. Actually quite curious how that would work out and then all of the little fixes that they don't spawn on, of, on top of each other and that they don't spawn in the air that's something I'm gonna fix off stream because that's just boring bug fixing work let's just do something a little more interesting you know spawning spike sees on the wall so first of all let's prepare those Spikes warning so they can spawn instances in the same rotation. For that, we just remember the AI, uh, the ID, created ID equals instance create, blah, blah, blah. And then we can copy the rotation create ID point image angle equals image angle and this way the spike will have the same rotation as the spike warning okay so this snail here is called uh, AI level one now let's duplicate this and create the same game maker has some weird problems sometimes level two and this is the one that will spawn spikes on the walls as well <laughs> and on the ceiling to make the level even harder that's gonna be awesome okay so here 
the shadow snail basically simulates where it's gonna be in half a second and then here is where it creates the spike just need to add a couple of lines here oops why am I doing this first of all let's do the left wall no, x minus 20 I'm not sure if this is gonna work right away but we'll see Uh, so we'll floor x and multiply it oh no we'll have to divide it by 60 first and then we'll multiply it with 60 so this should spawn spikes on the left side of the wall now let's do the same with the right side of the wall just to seal oh and then we obviously need to rotate the spike otherwise it's gonna look really weird mm, from image angle equals minus 90 or plus 90 oh, 90 probably and same for the other spike <laughs> very nice very nice Okay, actually quite curious if this works. We'll have to put that into the room. What's the correct snail? This one. So we'll put level two snail in here. That's the AI, the actual AI, this <laughs> little snail representation. Come on, spawn spawn some spikes on the wall. Do it. Do it. Uh, it's not working. And I'm dying too often, so it's doubly not working. But I think I actually saw something on the wall. Ah, what was that? There was a sideways spike. But it was... Oh, again. That's not how it's supposed to work, though. Um, maybe we should deactivate the normal ones that come out of the ground for testing purposes. Uh, maybe you're right the rotation could be wrong so they always face into the wall that would be a logical explanation okay now game makers not working anymore thank you 
Thank you, thank you. So we need to change the rotation. Very clever. Hey Dark Miracle! Glad you found the way. We already changed the colors of the spikes and of the AI. And now we're trying to make the spikes spawn out of the wall. Yee, okay, now it now it looks a lot better. Now they're coming out of the wall. <laughs> nice. Oh, what was that? Once again, they're still spawning in the air a bit too much. Why is this happening though here? Why? Why is this happening? This shouldn't be happening! <laughs> yeah, he saw that. Is it reproducible? When is it happening? <laughs> uh, they're always coming out of the wall pretty far at the bottom. I know why that is the case, but when do they fly in the air? They should not be flying in the air. Okay, but now seems to work okay ish. So, next step let's add the ones that come out of the ceiling. Mm, for that, the formula needs to be. They still come out of the ground. I deactivated that for testing because it was too difficult to test. I'm already streaming for 40 minutes. Yes, that's right. And I'm gonna be streaming uh, 1 hour 20. So it's not gonna be a super long stream. Only two hours in total. But we still got some time left. We still got some time left to get stuff done. <coughs> so. Hmm. I wonder if we'll ever see spikes coming out of the ceiling because simulation probably falls down a little too quickly for that to ever happen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Let me show you why so you can maybe understand a bit better. There's a shadow snail in front of us and the shadow snail basically determines where the spikes are gonna spawn. See the shadow snail? It spawns all of the obstacles and it just calculates where we're gonna be in half a second. That's how the AI works. So yeah, I think we just need to make the shadow snail a bit smarter. So at the moment the shadow snail doesn't jump. If we make the shadow snail... Oh, there was a spike in the ceiling. It worked. Oh, there was another one. So okay, it works. But it doesn't happen all that often. We just need to make the shadow snail a bit smarter. So it, it jumps as well, you know. At the moment it doesn't jump by itself.
Yeah, they're still on the wall, but they appear when I leave the platform. I don't understand how that is possible. I know they still touch the wall. Ah, okay, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It makes it makes complete sense now. Okay, I'm stupid, yes. That's the reason. We'll fix that later. For now, it's just... Just makes it a little harder, very nice. Mm hmm So I want to improve the snail, the shadow snail jump behavior a bit. Let's try to remember the jump key at the beginning. Jump key pressed equals false. And here we just write if jump key pressed and then here we just do this question stuff and if any of this is true jump key pressed equals true. And then here we can just Do I have this question again somewhere? Yes, I have it here. If jump key pressed. Oh, let's just pretend this is always pressed here and uh, sorry I'm in thinking mode I cannot focus on you on the same time what's my favorite game I think that's probably portal the Talos principle Starcraft inside also pretty damn good and what are your favorite games Tell me. Oh, this is really hard to focus like this. What did I try to do? Dang it. Right. Jump keys pressed here. Turn it to false. Mm. And then turn let's turn this into a for loop for t equals zero t smaller. 32 t plus plus and then we can say if t equals 16 then we jump so this way there should hopefully be more spikes on the walls Add more spikes on the ground. Maybe we can just make this random. Let's just make this random. If random. 50 smaller than one. Then we press the jump key. Ooh, ooh. 
let's see where the shadow spike uh, the shadows okay the shadow snail you know what i'm talking about i'm talking nonsense oh the witness is pretty cool as well but i watched so much let's play that i don't feel like playing it anymore <laughs> Okay, now the shadow snail jumps around a lot, but there should be more spikes on the walls and all that sort of stuff. Okay, now let's um, add the spikes on the ground again. Let's make this snail invisible. And then let's increase the probability for everything quite drastically. So it's gonna be nice and hard. We want it to be almost impossible. Um, why is it red here now? Did I accidentally remove something? Yes, here, okay. This is almost impossible to beat. What do you think? How long will it take me to beat this level? Leave your suggestions now. I have the developer license of Game Maker, I think. So not the most expensive one, but also not the cheapest one. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> oh, okay, this is gonna be a really tough one. Maybe this is too hard. Five or six minutes, never. <laughs> Maybe never is not all that unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, I bet this can make people rage so hard. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh, Jesus. And the spikes that just spawn in the air, super annoying. Okay, I think um, never is the correct solution to this puzzle. And uh, actually the level design of this level is... Oh, 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 see this, <laughs> I got so far. That was exciting. I will never make it that far again. Jesus, are there many spikes. Sometimes you need to go backwards. It's actually often a pr really, really good strategy. If there are just too many spikes in front of you, you just need to change the direction. There's no other way getting past that. Five hours. Mm, not gonna stream for that long, so... Maybe if I kept going for five hours, I would manage to beat this. I don't know, man. I think... If I make it that hard, nobody will come to the later levels and that would be also a little sad you know because I still got some really cool and mean things planned and people still should get there and also what's kind of discouraging about this level design at the moment is that you feel like you're not getting anywhere close to the end so what I like to do is make it a little easier in the beginning so you feel like you're making good progress and then the end of the level is just super hard that's actually something I really like about the other level, this one. Let me show you what I mean. It's relatively easy at the beginning, but the end of this level is super hard. See? Oops. Hello? Oh. Wasn't in focus. This part here is relatively easy, but down here, where it gets a lot more narrow, it gets way harder. But because the beginning is so much easier it feels like you're making good progress and then in the end you get screwed over by the level 
Don't write that much text. I cannot read that much text. What's wrong with you? Um, you can use my ideas. Feel free to use my ideas in whatever projects you want. I'm very happy if I can be of any use to you. So go ahead and do that. See, you need to really run circles so many times because if there are any spikes in the way, you cannot leave that stupid corner in the room. So that makes it really difficult. But it looks a lot more, it looks a lot easier than it actually is. And that kind of is the factor that really drives you crazy because you think, oh my God, I'm almost at the end. And that's what I want to accomplish with the other level as well. So let's redesign the level and then we can balance the other factors again. So be beginning of the level should be super easy and then it should get super hard. That's what we're gonna do. Way, 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 way. Now let's grab the wall. Zip. Hmm. Okay, maybe we should start up here to make it even easier. And then you kind of have to go just, just down, you know. This should be easy. Ah, this doesn't look easy. The beginning needs to be way easier. Maybe it's just a straight line. And then here's where it suddenly gets a lot more difficult. <laughs> no, not, not here yet. I want the players to go almost to the end and that's where it gets more difficult. <laughs> because that's that's way more frustrating this way. See? That's gonna be super hard. Getting up here is gonna be an absolute nightmare. And the rest of the level can just stay nice and easy. Maybe make a little difficulty spike here. Something like this. Maybe a small thing you need to jump over here, another one here. But you should get relatively far without all that many problems. Let's try this. Let's grab the wall. Hi there, Rangeline. Leave your bets. How many times will I have to try to beat this level? Um, actually, let's spawn a little fewer spikes on the ground because, yeah, that's ludicrous. Now, let's go. Will I ever beat it in the stream without changing it again? Leave your bets. I take bets now. Oh! <laughs> See, this is nice. You get a lot further now, but now in the end you have this really hard part that really drives you nuts. Come on. Hi, Foib. 
This is not the first level, this is the second level, as you can clearly see. The first level needs to be way easier, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to use the level design to trick the player to think that it's possible to beat the level, but then in the end of the level it gets so narrow that it's way harder. Come on! Okay, this is <laughs> this is really rage inducing. I like it. And I'm I already kind of know what we're going to do in the next level and it's oh my god, it's going to be so mean. I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's impossible to get up there. This narrow hole. <laughs> there are too many spikes. Oh, this is insane. This is actually entertaining to watch. I'm really wondering about that because watchability is a huge factor. I'm trying to to make this a kind of watchable game. Remember, so whoa, lost my glasses. You think the second level should be easier? Yeah, you know, no spikes shouldn't spawn in the air. I need to fix that, but I won't fix that on stream because that's boring work. You probably don't want to watch that. Yeah, I th actually I kind of agree. The second level should probably be, be easier. But you know, there are so many rage games out there, the only way to really differentiate yourself is by making it even harder and even harder and harder and harder and harder so nobody can beat it anymore. Okay, I think I need to change the end of the level. And also maybe I should add a little more vertical slices to the level because what the AI, what the AI learned in this level is spawning stuff on walls and on the ceiling, so would probably make sense if there were a little more opportunities for the AI to do that. To just spawn stuff on the walls and on the ceiling. Because most dangerous spikes at the moment are still the ones on the ground. Yeah, so first of all... Uh, I have an easy way to fix at this at least a little bit that I don't spawn that many spikes in the air anymore, at least the wall spikes. And that is if the wall spike only spawns spikes if I move in that direction of the wall. Ah. But I don't know how to implement that there, but it's probably not going to be all that hard. Can implement that later. I want more spikes on the wall and even more spikes on the ceiling. Thank you. And maybe a couple fewer spikes on the ground. Thank you. Now let's redesign the level. This is too hardcore here. <laughs> this is not possible. I think this is uh, this is still mean enough. Ah, and I wanted to have more verticality in this level. So I need to go up and down a little more. Hmm, how do we do that? more interesting to watch than the current state of Oversnova, yeah, that's that's what I thought. Oversnova is not really a viewer friendly game, unfortunately. And maybe it's even more fun to play this than Oversnova, I don't know. 
my girlfriend usually doesn't like the games that I make, but she really liked playing this for some reason. So it's really confusing to me. Really confusing. So let's say this is the easy part here. And let's try to force the players into a bit more verticality now. I need to go down here. And then maybe you need to climb up here. <laughs> That's super mean. And then you need to go down again, obviously. And you also can't go through the center. Then you need to go up again, obviously. Okay, this level looks super hard again. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. Uh, let's give the players a bit more space to maneuver here. Okay. Let's try this. I take your bets now. Will I ever be able to beat this? No, no, no. That's still the second level. I change it again. Yeah, maybe it's going viral. Who knows? Honestly, it would kind of surprise me, but... I mean, it has the potential. Could be possible. <laughs> Actually, what do you think about the name snail compilation for the game? Snail compilation. Or should we stick to will you snail? I think snail compilation is a really funny and cool name, but will you snail kind of challenges you to try the game, you know? So will you snail? Will you? And then another good name would also be snailed it. But the problem with snailed it is that's a little hard to pronounce. So I don't really want to use snailed it. So it's either going to be snail compilation or will you snail? What do you like better? Will you snail is better, yeah. Probably. Because then when somebody's playing the game, you can always say, oh no, you snailed again. You snailed. I think maybe every time you lose, there should be a text pop-up that says you snailed. Come on! Oh, this, this little thing right there is really stopping me from getting through there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the, th the spikes from the walls are... Basically just means you can't go anywhere close to the walls now. It's ludicrous. Come on. Come on, let me through there. <laughs> I just want to get through there, please. For some reason, this is entertaining to play, even though it's really frustrating. <laughs> Why? No! Almost made it. A death counter, maybe. I have a really fun idea for what the AI learns later on. I don't know if I should spoil it. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about it. I think I need to share it. Uh, I think at some point the, uh, the AI will learn to delete your si save files and then there will just be a giant... Oh my god, I made it! Uh, where was I? And there will just be a giant loading screen on the top of the screen or something like that and it just runs down and when, when your time runs out it just deletes your save file and you need to start all over again. That's gonna be so funny and it's gonna add a lot of watchability. It's not gonna be fun for the player but it's gonna be really, really watchable and add a lot of tension because if you can't beat the level 
before the time runs out, you need to start all over again. What do you think about that idea? <laughs> did I explain it well enough? Did you get what I'm saying? How did I actually manage to beat that level here? This part right here was way too difficult. I want players to get further. And I want the end to be a li little harder though. Let's make the end a little harder. Mm. Honestly, this is probably enough <laughs> to make it really hard. Okay, let's let's try to play this again. It's really mean. Yes, I know. It's supposed to be mean. <laughs> hey, I'm I feel like like I'm getting better. Did you see that? Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh no. Oh no, forget what I've said. <laughs> also the the sound when you die needs to be really annoying. At the moment it's just this drum. We need to find a sound that is way more annoying and triggers you a lot more. Oh, see, you really need to go backward a lot if you actually want to make it sometimes. Because, as I said, if there are too many spikes in your way, there's just no way you're gonna make it otherwise. Oh, the one on the ceiling got me. This is so tr triggering. Maybe it should be a little easier to get down that first slope here. This is really hard at the moment, getting down there. Okay, we have about 50 more minutes, so I want to make one more level. Let's, let's uh, but I want to beat this. I can't stop just now without beating this. I'm starting to get triggered. <coughs> Oh Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Why is this so fun? Why? It's so fun and so triggering at the same time. You can't hear the sounds. Okay. Not even very silently. It should be a very, very silent drum sound whenever I die. But that's the only sound anyway. So if you can't hear it, no biggie. No biggie at all. Maybe I can fix it really quick though. Let me, let me have a look. Mm. What about now? Can you hear it now? It's still not loud, but you should hear the drum sound now. Will I ever beat this level? 
Please, I want to beat this level. Yes, you can hear it, that's nice. But as I've said, the sound needs to be way more annoying than this. This is way too too friendly. Oh sometimes you get in really unfair situations. But yeah, that's entirely the point of the game. Not supposed to be fair. Also, I think the the randomness factor kind of makes it even more addicting because sometimes you just get lucky and you get really far just because you were lucky and there were not a lot of spikes or spikes at very easy positions. But it feels even a little bit like a gambling machine, if you know what I mean. Can get really far just by pure luck. But you can also get screwed over by luck, so that makes it even more entertaining. It's very silent, yeah. Sorry about that. But at least you can hear me, right? I'm not silent. I don't know if any anybody would bother beating this level or would you have given up by this point or would you still keep trying? I Balancing the difficulty of this is going to be a really hard challenge because it needs to be, I feel like it needs to be super difficult because that's kind of the appeal of the entire thing, right? Making it super difficult. But it, if it's too difficult, then people won't get past level two and that will obviously harm the viralness factor of the game as well. If you don't get past level two, <laughs> so if you should, if you keep trying, you should manage to beat this level earlier or later. I'm okay. That's nice. It's especially frustrating when the spikes at the top get you because most of the time. You can escape them quite easily, but yeah, sometimes they get you. Okay, okay, this is good. No, ah, the end is so hard. Come on. Actually, I think uh, this right here is challenging enough. If you get past that, you should should be allowed to leave. I think that's that's a fair deal. Otherwise, it's literally gonna be impossible, and people are gonna get stuck w for way too long. That's gonna harm the game. It's still hard enough this way. Still more than hard enough. I can definitely see, get, see people getting really frustrated at this. Mr. Snail, would you please stop dying? Thank you. Okay, prepare. 
this gonna be my perfect run are you prepared for my perfect run you know little preparation meditation I can feel this gonna be the perfect run okay it's gonna be one attempt I'm gonna get through easy peasy are you ready are you hyped this gonna be this gonna be the one you'll see okay okay three two one go oh I'm just not focused three two one go this is the run this is the run this is the run no <laughs> obviously but this is the run seriously this is the run I'm gonna beat it now see see how easy this is oh <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the run. This is yes, I beat it. Easy, see, so easy. Extremely easy. I'm happy because now we can implement actually the next really hard level. And for that, or maybe we should name the levels. This is this is level one. This is level two. Now let's duplicate this level and name it level three. So, because now I feel like actually legitimately spawning stuff in the wall, uh, not in the wall, in the air. I want to spawn stuff in the air. And for that we have a couple of different options, either spike balls, but I feel like that's not all that creative. I would prefer flying neon cats. How does that sound? Let's make some flying neon cats that spawn in the air. Mm, snail compilation or will you snail? Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I think we'll stick with will you snail. Probably. What's your opinion? What should we choose? Definitely gonna be a pro league game. Hmm. Snuff pro. Hey, hey, hi, ho, he, hey. Glad you're here. So we need need to make the sprite now the correct sprite. Let's call it sprite. Neon or hmm. let's call it air spike. Who knows? Maybe we change it later. This is a little more general, but it will obviously look like like a flying cat. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to get killed by this. Let's duplicate this a couple of kinds. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Mm. It too needs to flash a bit. Make it a bit brighter. 
brighter. And then the eyes should probably flash as well. Hmm. No, 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 the dark red doesn't work because I want to add some pupils in there, some, how are they called? You know what I mean? These things. <laughs> Perfect. Might need some some hair, some cat hair. You definitely need crazy cuts to make anything go viral, so this is a very important uh, component of the game. Okay, bye, good pixels. See ya in two, in five minutes. My glass, oh. Is this better? I want to keep the glasses, but I don't want to put them on my eyes because then I can't see anymore. Also, I think looking a little crazy when making crazy games is probably appropriate. Appropriate, so. So, now we duplicate the spike warning and just call it cat warning. No, this is actually wrong. I should have copy copied this, the cat delete. Per cat warning. Mm. And now I just delete all the frames anyway, so okay. Don't ask me what that was. It's the cat warning. That's what it is. So the thing you're gonna see half a second before the actual cat appears. Yep, perfect. <laughs> really happy with that. Now what I actually need to do is I need to duplicate here the object spike warning and call it object cat warning change the sprite to a cat warning sprite then duplicate the spike change the sprite to a cat call it cat Then the way it scales up needs to be a little different. Needs to scale up in both directions. Other than that it can pretty much stay exactly the same as the spike. Then we're gonna turn collision detection to precise.
and then we're gonna create the AI and then it should almost already work. I'm so excited for the cats. <sighs> I'm really excited for the cats. Let's lower the probability for spikes on the ground even a little further. And just let's add a random chance that a cat appears. Let's say about Three times a second on average there will be a flying cat. Doesn't need any special rotation. Doesn't need anything special at all. Just gonna create it at exactly this position. <laughs> Can even delete the brackets. And then we obviously wanna create object cat warning and object cat warning doesn't create a spike after 30 frames it creates a cat that's all should work now only thing we need to do is drag this object into the room are you excited for the flying cats I definitely am maybe we should redesign this level a bit so it doesn't look the same <laughs> Once again though, I want to make something that's relatively easy in the beginning. And then pretty hard when you get to the end. That's the goal, that's the dream. Because that makes people feel like they have a chance. <laughs> Oh, how about you need to go down here and here and then in the end you need to go up here. Oh, that sounds very mean and we're gonna do that because we are super mean. Okay, this looks, looks very, 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 very hard. <laughs> I'm already taking bets again. Will I ever be able to beat this? Yes or no? I personally bet on no. Why does it remind you of the nine cat game? Because the nine cat game was pretty hard as well, but only if you got really far. Oh, did I type if random one smaller than 20? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You paid attention quite well there. Nice, 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 nice. Good job. Taha Bell. Dark Miracle says no, I will not be able to beat it. I won't, I probably won't. I'm kind of scared to start the level. I don't want to meet the flying cats. Yes, actually I want to meet them. Let's meet them. Let's meet the flying cats. 
Ach, the cat in the game. Okay. The cat reminds you of my Lion Cat game. I get it. Oh, <laughs> the cats, they look so cute. <laughs> yes! But they spawned in the walls at really weird positions. We should not allow that to happen. They should only be spawned in the air. Because we only have al already have the spikes on the ground. We don't need cats there. Yeah, let's change that real quick. And as a compensation for that, let's spawn a couple more cats. Do it! I'm doing it. Okay, now the cats are gone. I think I messed something up again. If play is free, oh, the false needs to go. But now it's spawning in the walls again. No, 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 this is not right. Oh, the cats don't kill me. That's a problem. Mm. Should we duplicate this event? Yeah, let's do that for now. Duplicate event if we collide with the cat. The same thing should happen. But why do they still spawn in the wall? Place free is for solid objects, right? Yep. So if this object collides with no solid objects here, then it's allowed to spawn a flying cat. Oh, maybe the pivot of the flying cat is just wrong. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Middle center or maybe here on the nose. Origin 31, 38. 31, 38. Okay, now it should be fixed. Let's go. Ah, uh, it, sh it should actually count for the entire object because there's another fu function called place free and that's only one point. Uh, position free. There's a difference between place free and posi position free. One of them is the point and one of them is the entire object. By good point, I confuse those two functions all the time as well. Um, now it works better, but the cats still spawn way too close to the ground. I don't want that. So we need to add another question there, another if. If place free x plus thirty equal equals false. So if nothing's under us, and let's just do the same for the sides. Doesn't cost that much performance. We can allow ourselves to do that. Plus thirty. 
Oh no, 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 no. I did it entirely the wrong way. Y y plus 30 then here x plus 30 and x minus 30 now the cat should have a little more space that's too much cats not anymore probably because I messed up the if questions again Oh, the equals false needs to go. Why did I put that there? Nonsense, complete nonsense. Yes. Yes, that's better. Yes! <laughs> yes, I love it. It's kind of impossible now. Come on, that spike was unfair. Are you getting triggered just from watching this? These cats are always exactly where I want to jump next. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is impossible. This is literally impossible. Did you see that? I almost made it. That was a good attempt. Mm. Yeah, it's it's kind of impossible. Mm. <laughs> you think you should have a one? 0.1% chance of completing the level, not a 0% chance. I think you have a 0.001% chance to complete the level. But as I've said, it's um, this really frustrating feeling at the beginning where you feel like mm, you don't even get to 50% of the level, so you will never make it. It should be relatively easy to finish 80% of the level and then the rest of the level should be super hard, so you always die right before the end. That's more motivating that than dying right at the beginning of the level. I don't know if we can fix that with level design alone or if we should put some, some sort of invisible switch into the game that just makes it more difficult as soon as you pass a certain point in the level. I almost think we should make an invisible switch that just bumps up the difficulty. Oh no. Zero point zero 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 one. Maybe that's accurate, probably. Great. I agree, your chance to succeed should be higher. This is too low. 
<laughs> Didn't even make it to this ramp at the end, which is probably gonna be super difficult. Let's just uh, decrease the overall difficulty of this for now. Let's just cut everything in half. Let's be generous. Half the cats. No, spikes on the ceiling are not really the problem. Spike le half the spikes on the wall. And 17 times 2 is 34. Half the spikes on the ground. This is half the difficulty. This should be possible now, right? Right? Five hours? Hmm? I think I can beat this a little faster now. See? See? This is easy. Oops. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, this is how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to get almost to the end relatively easily. And then in the end it's supposed to get really hard. Oh, that was too easy, way too easy. The AI should say, you have no chance. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, maybe it would be cool if the AI talked a little. I agree. That would probably be entertaining. I have to think about how we could do that though. Maybe with a speech bubble or should I talk it? Into the microphone, you have no chance. <laughs> Bit like mad programmer. Hmm. So I want to m think I want to make an invisible switch that makes the level more difficult once you hit it. So this has a hidden variable called difficult mode and at the beginning it's false. And then as long as we are not in difficult mode this happens. But then as soon as we are in difficult mode, something else happens. A lot more enemies will happen. That's what's gonna happen. Oh my god, my glasses. What are they doing? They're coming back. Mm, I'll have to see if I still have the mad programmer game. Probably somewhere question is if it still is it still running will it still work when you start it nowadays So what can we use as an invisible switch? I think we will create a new sprite for that. 6060. Just some placeholder color. Spur invisible. Create object. Let's call it spur 
difficulty so oh no switch it's gonna be invisible you played it today cool so it's nice to know that there are still some copies out there and it still worked that's cool that's cool you collide with the player then we will set object AI level 1 point how did I call the variable difficult mode gleich true This is nice because this allows me to do some really mean level design. Now I can just put this here. So we have uh, maybe even a little later. Maybe maybe we'll start doing difficult mode here. So we have it relatively easy till we get there and then for the last portion of the level it's gonna be nice and difficult. <laughs> Let's try that. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, 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 easy. Easy, now it should get way more difficult. Okay, the beginning is still not that easy. But if it were too easy, it would be too obvious. I think it's possible now. gotta be possible you know what let's add another tutorial level before this let's call it level zero and then we can play through the entire game and end the stream with that and we won't end the stream before I haven't played through the entire game so yeah we'll basically stream forever that's what I was trying to say can I please rename this level to level zero zero because you need one level to just get used to the controls one level that teaches you how to move without any sort of danger there probably shouldn't even be an AI in the room just Mr. Snail and some cool training obstacles. Something that teaches you to double jump. First you need to go up here and up here. And you will fall down here and then we can have something that teaches you to double jump. <laughs> Let's see how far up we can get with a double jump. I think this should barely be possible. Let's see if this is a good training level
What is traitor? Who is a traitor? Oh no. <laughs> I completely underestimated this. Uh, we could jump till here maybe. Let's see. Oh, we can't even get up here without a double jump. So that's... Oh, we also can't get up here without double jump, okay. So people better figure this out quite quickly. Oh... Okay, you cannot get that far up. Easy peasy, okay. No, just a level for people to get used to the controls and then Here's where the hard part starts. This level should be really easy now because there are not even things coming out of the walls. There are not even cats appearing in the nowhere. Doesn't this look super easy now? I think it does, but we still need to wait until there are no more spikes. Come on, I want to leave. Stop spawning spikes in front of my escape path. Come on. Will there ever be no spikes? Mm. That was really bad luck there. Okay, now they're coming out of the walls. This makes it a bit more difficult. Oh, oh, almost made it first try. Damn, damn. Damn. Damn it! <laughs> no! <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh god, how long will this take me? Probably forever. And guys, what are you doing today? Did you have a nice day? Tell me something interesting because this will take a while. Actually, I'm quite happy the stream still didn't crash. Because I wasn't all that confident in my internet, honestly. What was this spike? Did you see that? That was so unfair. Okay. Okay, good luck this time. Easy. Here comes the hard part, though because we have never beaten this level. Will we manage to beat it this time? Hmm. 
Hmm. This stupid cat. Let me through. Just let me through. Thank you. Okay, actually no, I will will not beat this. I just realized this is impossible. I made an impossible game. My favorite color is definitely green. Good talk. Uh, I typed in the wrong AI, but I made AI number three a child of AI number one, so that's why it will still work. I am pretty surprised that you're paying attention that well, though. Because I thought you you just zone out when I start coding. That's definitely what I would do if I watched the stream like this. My favorite animals are snails because they can perform crazy stunts like this and right after that cats because they're cute. Uh, but if, if we're for real I'm really fascinated by a lot of underwater animals like octopi or how do you call them in English? Octopus. Also cattlefish. If you don't know cattlefish, watch a couple of videos about cattlefish. They're really cool. They're very similar to octopi. Octopi. But they look like sci-fi aliens and they can glow in the darkness. It's so fascinating. How do you call a pie that looks like an octopus? And how do you call multiple pies that look like an octopus? That's the question. Oh. Please, please. Uh, as you can see, the difficulty switch definitely works. <laughs> Whoa! Crazy man. I actually did it without any problems. Ah, that was so easy. Oh man, that was so easy. So maybe I should change the text from snail compilation to will you snail, but that's that's the name we're probably gonna go for. Mm. That's the wrong text. Will you snail? Ta-da! Doesn't fit on the screen, obviously. What did you say to that playthrough, huh? That was absolutely amazing. I want to hear your praise. Yes, yes, easy, <laughs> get wrecked. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> Five minutes ago I made an impossible level. <laughs> yes, that was so easy. Oh my god. So easy. Okay, actually this doesn't really work. Um, so we're perfectly on time. I wanted to end the stream around 19 o'clock. It was really fun. I think we'll have to do this again sometime. Even if we go back to weekly videos, I think we can squeeze in a stream or two. That's definitely in the realms of possible because this is really fun. I really enjoy this. So, if you have any final words before we end the stream, please leave them now. This was kind of fun. Um, I'm actually kind of curious how we're gonna ramp it up from here. I, th I mean, I told you about one idea. I want to m add some time pressure. And if you can't beat the level in time, you need to start all over again. Yeah, weekly vids for now. I think that it just makes more sense because um, I want to continue my studies in Berlin and I want to make cool projects with my friends there and I want to invest most of my energy into that. So I'm patient, you know, I don't need to make this YouTube channel successful right away. I I can wait three additional months. So. I'm completely aware of the fact that this YouTube channel will not go anywhere with weekly uploads. That's not just not how YouTube works. That's not what gets you any further, but will give me some room to experiment, maybe make some more qualitative videos, ramp up my quality a bit, and most importantly, allow me to do some cool projects with my friends in Berlin. And I'm not gonna leave YouTube anytime soon. That's not gonna happen. No, not a timer, Dark Miracle says. Um, why not? I'm not trying to make this a fun game. I'm trying to make this a frustrating game that is entertaining to watch. Don't you think a timer would be entertaining to watch? You know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about this timer thing as well. Because if the timer actually runs out, Will people just quit? Will they stop playing? That could very well happen. But while the timer is running down, it could be very enter entertaining to watch. And then you see, oh no, it's only two minutes left. And then it gets even more stressful and stressful. Timer, yeah, you probably weren't there when I explained that concept. So the concept is that in every level, the AI learns something new. So first it learns, making spikes from the ground, then from the walls, from the ceiling, then spawning cats somewhere in the room. And then one of the next things the AI learns is deleting your save files. <laughs> so I think that would be a really funny surprise if suddenly the AI learns to delete your save files and you have 10 minutes, 20 minutes until the AI has deleted your save file. And then you just need to start all over again if you didn't manage to beat the level in that time. And I don't like timers as well. As I've said, I, it doesn't need to be fun. This is not exactly the point of this game, even though it accidentally it kind of became fun. So maybe we shouldn't destroy that fun by adding a timer. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't. True. Yeah, timer as a bonus, yeah, but that is an entirely different mechanic. Hmm. I think another thing I plan to do is adding some random elements into your playthrough. So some levels that maybe just appear for some players. So if you watch let's player A play the game and then you watch let's player B play the game, slightly different things happen to both of these players because there will be a bit of randomness to the levels themselves as well. So maybe that timer thing ch could just be a random event. Maybe there's a 20% chance, maybe there's a 10% per chance that the AI learns to delete your save files. So we can still have those funny, crazy moments, but not everybody who plays it gets that timer. 
And then maybe there's also a 2% chance that you get spawned into an entirely impossible level that's absolutely impossible to beat. <laughs> that could happen as well. <laughs> Just fun stuff like that. My favorite day of the week is probably uh, probably Friday, but not because it's weekend, just just you know, it's a nice day. All game saves deleted when timer runs out. This too raging. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yes, you might be right. Actually, you know what? I think I could add that as some really, really, really late game content. So if you play through almost the entire game, then the final boss has this sort of mechanic, something like that. So you can can pl enjoy almost the entire game without that stupid timer mechanic and then in the end, in the last two or three levels, when you have already five, ten hours of playtime, <laughs> then we bring in that stupid timer mechanic because I think uh, it would be and it wouldn't be fun to play, but it would be f entertaining to watch for sure. My favorite time is seven o'clock in the morning. Ah, uh, not really. Uh, I don't know. Stupid question. Ask another question. <laughs> What's your favorite time? Yeah, this game clearly needs a hard mode. There should be a normal mode, which is this mode, and then there should be a hard mode. Definitely. Yes. That that sounds logical. Maybe, yeah, actually, maybe we can do it. Maybe we can add a hard mode. It would be kind of funny if a game that difficult would even have a hard mode. I think that's... Does that exist? Is there a rage game that has a hard mode? Are you aware of any super difficult rage games that have a hard mode? What's my internet? I don't know, honestly. What's your favorite music? Hmm... The thing with music is that there's good music in every kind of genre. And I don't listen to all that much music, honestly. So I can't tell you what my favorite music is. I, I like music. I like listening to music. I like all kinds of music. I don't listen to music all that often. When I do, I often listen to film soundtracks or to game soundtracks. Jonas up. Oh, you I'm so sad for it's very sad. You just joined as we end the stream. You missed it, but you can watch the replay, I hope. <laughs> Have still a couple more minutes to interact with me. <laughs> My favorite food. Oh, that's so many good questions. My favorite food is lasagna. But vegetarian lasagna because you it's a common misconception that you need meat in the lasagna to make it taste good. That's absolutely not the case. You can make a vegetarian lasagna, absolutely no problem at all. Tastes just as good, not if not even better. What's my favorite random question? My favorite random question. Um, I mean, what's your favorite time of the day is pretty high up there, <laughs> definitely. you were on someone else's stream oh, oh, oh traitor no it's fine i can understand you didn't want to watch this crap right here makes total sense my favorite fruit oh yeah my favorite fruit is um, 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 um. bananas probably I'm 21, sorry, I missed your question. No, sorry, that was two years ago. I'm 23. I missed your question earlier. You asked that question earlier. Favorite game is Portal, Talos Principle, Starcraft. 
at the moment I'm playing Snake Pass. Have any of you played or heard about Snake Pass? It's a really fun game. Also really frustrating though. It's kind of hard, even though there are no enemies. Snake Pass. Check it out. It's an interesting game. I also like it. My favorite country. Um, deep question. I think... I don't know what my favorite country is. Probably USA, because they have the best president in the entire world. You know Snake Pass, but have you played it? Or at least you know it. That's that's something. That's something. You don't need to play it. What's my favorite spider? Oh, good question. <laughs> I mean, with spiders, it's pretty much the bigger, the better. And the more hairy they are, the more hair they have, the better. Because I really like cuddling things. And you, if spiders have a lot of hair, you can just pet and cuddle them a lot better. My favorite fruit is a banana. But don't tell anybody. I said that. My favorite character in SpongeBob is Patrick because he's stupid and I can identify with that because I'm stupid as well. Favorite music to listen to soundtracks mostly. Game soundtracks, film soundtracks. I like listening to stuff that doesn't have a lot of vocals in it. But I can pretty much listen to anything. I can also listen to dubstep, metal, jazz. Doesn't really matter. I, I can listen to everything. Classical music. My favorite snakes. Actually, they're really cool snake videos on YouTube. I think there there's a hairy snake that has some fur is there if there is one I like that one because I like petting things and cuddling things snakes are not really the the best animals to pet and to cuddle but you know banana I don't watch all that much Spongebob. I have only seen a couple of clips. And yeah, I don't even know if I have a favorite character in Spongebob. But if I have to pick one, it's gonna be Patrick. Adam music? I don't know. But if you want to hear good music, then just check out Good Pixels second channel. He makes good music. Was it your channel, Good Pixels? I think it was. Or maybe I, I just get it wrong. Yeah, snakes are cool. Unfortunately, they're not vegetarian. Otherwise, I would get one as a pet. But I don't want to feed it with mice. and Stuff like that. Yeah, you're welcome. I remembered it correctly. See? That's nice. Okay, w I'd, I'd say that's enough uh, interesting questions for now. So thanks for sticking around. That was entertaining. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And we'll definitely do another stream sometime soon, right? Twitter or Instagram. I like both. Stone, favorite stone. Really good question. I mean, I really have to think about that a lot. I think that's the that's the question we'll just try to answer till next time. What's your favorite stone? Everybody think about that, okay? I want you 
to meditate this evening and just think what's my favorite stone what's my favorite stone what's my favorite stone and maybe you'll find an answer this way i will do the same thing and i'm gonna tell you next time okay okay <laughs> awesome <laughs> okay once again thanks thanks for sticking around this was really entertaining hope you enjoyed it see ya bye